and welcome back. Thank you for joining me today. Today's practice, we are going to be stepping into our strength. And I guarantee you are stronger than you think. So enjoy that strength. And if you need to take a break, take a break and just come back in whenever you are ready. We're going to start in standing. So just take a few moments to just kind of pedal out through the feet. <laughs> I do have my journal handy as well as a block that we're gonna utilize at the end. You do not have to have a block. You can always use a rolled up beach towel or a blanket if that's what you prefer. Go ahead and roll the shoulders up towards the ears. Relax them down the back. Turn the palms forward in a state of receiving. Just spending a few moments, just feeling the energies in your body. We're going to start with some movement and then start to come into some of those stronger postures. So first, let's just bring the hands so that they are facing towards each other at the heart center. And we're just going to take that left arm back for an inhale, bring it back in, exhale, take that right arm back. So we're just opening up that arm on an inhale to the left and exhale to the right. Keep some softness in the knees. And just take that inhale, exhale as we start to open up through the heart center. Opening up through the shoulders. Nice little gentle twist here too. Inhale, exhale. Getting that blood flowing. Getting that body moving. And then returning to center here, we're just gonna take the arms up and above the head, take a hold of the right wrist and just take a little, little gentle tug over to the left side. Come back up to center, holding on to the wrist and we're just gonna bring it over to that opposite side. Returning back up to center, part the feet a little wider than hip width apart. We're gonna take the thumbs and we're gonna hook the fingers here. So we're creating this little butterfly-like mudra here. And then we're gonna go through some miracle bends. So we're taking the arms up above the head, little arch of the back, bend the knees generously as you sweep the hands down and through towards that back of the mat. Then inhale, reaching up and over by that arch of the back. So come into a rhythm that's working for you, taking the hands up and back over the head, and then the fingertips back towards the heels. A couple more times, lift and lower. And again, the cadence is up to you. time that we lift we're just going to hold here try to pull those thumbs apart but we're keeping that butterfly mudra doing a nice stretch in through the hands and then release the arms down step the feet together meaning at the front of the mat so I'm going to step out of the way take a nice deep inhale up above the head exhale melt all the way down into your forward fold come into your version of halfway lift and then pull back down again. Plant the hands onto earth. Step one foot at a time back into your downward facing dog. Knees come down to the earth. We're going to pick up the heels so that they are in towards the glutes. Hands are right in front of the shoulders. And we're just going to lower down halfway, then raise back up. Again, lowering down halfway, raising back up. Once again, hover halfway, hold here, invite that shape into the body. And then we're just gonna lower all the way down to the belly. Release the tops of the feet down onto the earth. Press into those toenails and into that pubic bone. Take the hands right in front of the shoulders or right next to the shoulders, I should say. And we're just gonna lift up into a little cobra. Then lower back down. Again, lifting up into a cobra, make sure you're keeping that imaginary ball in between chin and chest. So we're making this all about that back body. Then lower back down. One more time, lifting up, this time hover the hands here. So really press into that pubic bone and into those toes so much that the knees raise. 
Beautiful. Keep breathing. And then hands come down to the earth. We're going to press like into a back bend of your choice. Maybe that's cobra again, or maybe that's up dog. Tuck the toes under, send the hips up, come back in, into your downward facing dog. Take a nice deep inhale in. Open up, exhale, release, and let it go. Bend the knees, peek forward, hop, skip, jump, however you'd like to get to the front of the mat, meeting in our forward fold. Halfway lift without step back. Melt back down again to fold. Bend the knees, take the arms out to the side, sweep the fingertips up and overhead, palms meet above the head, and gentle into heart center. Inhale, reaching hands up. Lead with the chest and fold all the way back down into your forward fold. Halfway lift again. And fold back down. Hands point down onto the earth. We step one foot at a time back into that downward facing dog. Roll up onto the balls of the feet. Shift forward to your plank. Then lower the knees down to earth. Send the, he the heels up towards the bottom. And then again, we're going to lower halfway, bend those elbows, raise back, straight line with that back body. Lower halfway, and back up. One more time, bend those elbows, hold and hover here, breathe, and then come all the way down to the earth. Tops of the feet come down, press through those toes so much that the knees lift. Hands are right next to the shoulders, slightly in front of the shoulders. Lift up into that little cobra. Then lower back down. Again, little baby cobra, lift, then lower. Lift, this time float the hands. Keep that imaginary ball pin between chin and chest. So what I mean by that is what I said, talking back here. Keep breathing. Take the hands down to the earth. Back bend of your choice. That could be up dog, that could be cobra, that could be cow pose, whatever is working for you. Tuck your toes under, send the hips up, and once again come into that downward facing dog. Take a nice deep inhale in. And on, exhale, release, and let it go. Bend the knees, peek forward, hop, skip, or jump, however you'd like to get to the front of your mat. Forward fold. Halfway lift. Melt again to fold. Take the arms out to the side. Sweep them all the way up. Reach hands up and overhead. Palms gentle into heart center. We're going to keep that right foot forward. So left foot is going to step back. We're lining either the arch or the heel of that back foot with that front heel. Take the arms out into a nice T-shape coming into your warrior two. So bending into that knee. Arms are pressing back. Breathe into your strength. Take your gaze over that middle finger of that front hand. Keep breathing. Sink down just a little bit more. Keep breathing. Notice if that knee is starting to sink down into the center. Keep pressing it towards that pinky toe side. And keep breathing. Now we're going to straighten that front leg, lean forward, and come down into your triangle pose. You can always use a block here if you would like. We're going to be here for just a few moments. See if you can stack the shoulders here, pressing through the knife edge of that back foot. Now we're going to take that lower arm and we're going to bring it up in front. Then we're going to take that upper arm. So imagine if you're kind of cupping your head, your ears with your hand. And then use that core strength to come up nice and tall. Then lean forward again. Again, raising back up. Coming forward. And raising back up. One more time. Reaching both hands forward, crown of head forward. Press through that knife edge, come back up. Take the arms back out into that T-shape. I know the arms are probably yelling at us as nails and many other things, but breathe into your strength. Now take that forearm to the top of the thigh of that right arm. Left arm is going to reach up and overhead. 
We're gonna take this upper arm, we're gonna wrap it around, like a little bind here, bringing a hand to the low back, bending into that front knee. If it feels okay with the neck, take the gaze up. If it doesn't feel okay with the neck, peek forward or down to the earth. Notice if you're collapsing into that shoulder and into that forearm, see if you can stay lifted here. Unwind the arm from that bind, bend into that knee, come back again to that warrior two. Hands come to the hips. We're gonna pivot that back foot, turn it forward, step it out to come into your lunge pose. Reaching fingertips up, roll the shoulders down, then cactus the elbows open, shine the chest up towards the ceiling. Reaching fingertips up. Taking palms down to frame that front foot. Step foot to meet back foot, downward facing dog. Inhale. Giant exhale, release and let it go. Roll up onto the balls of the feet, shift forward to your plank. Now you can just find your typical flow here or do the same thing we did before, where we lower the knees down, heels come in towards the glutes. We lower halfway and raise back up. You can always do this with toes down and in your plank or keep the heels lifted. Coming down, lifting back up. One more time, straight line, come down, hold and hover here. Then lower all the way down to the belly. Tops of feet come down, lifting up this time, just coming into that back end of your choice. Tucking toes under, sending hips back, downward facing dog. And exhale. Bend the knees, hop, skip, or jump, however you like to get to the front of the mat. Meeting in your forward fold. Halfway lift. Melt once again to fold. Bend through the knees, take the arms to sweep up and overhead, grow tall. And then palms gentle into heart center. We're going to find that left foot forward. I'm just going to turn, coming into our warrior two position here. Arms come out into that nice T shape, bend into that front knee. Open up the arms, see if you can keep them parallel with each other. Bend into that knee a little bit more. Keep breathing. Gazes over those middle two fingers on that left hand. Pressing the knee towards that knife edge, towards that pinky toe side of the foot. Keep breathing. Then straighten that front leg. Come on down into your triangle. Hand can be on shin, block or earth. Open up that chest. Always find that focal point, that gaze that's working for your neck. If looking up is not working for you, Keep facing forward or looking down. And we're gonna bring that lower arm, cupping the bicep alongside the ear, upper arm alongside the right ear. Keep the legs straight, come back up. Then we're gonna lean forward. Use that core strength to push yourself up. Again, coming forward. Core strength to come back up. One more time, reaching forward. And coming back up. Bending into that knee, take that left hand, forearm to the top of the thigh, forearm to the top of the thigh. Right arm is going to reach up. Then we're going to take it around, wrap it towards that hip on that bent knee side, so on that left side. Notice if you're gripping in with the toes or you're collapsing down into that forearm. See if you can stay lifted, rolling that shoulder open. Take another breath here. Unwind that bind, bring the hand up. Come back to that warrior two. Hands come to the hip line. We're gonna take that back foot. We're gonna pivot so that it's facing forward, stepping it a little bit wider so we're more on a rail, railroad track stance. Fingertips reach up. Practice the chest open, heart open, elbows wide. Bend into that knee. Reaching fingertips up, bowing the hands down to frame the foot. Step back front foot back, 
This is our last downward facing dog. Notice if your downward dog is feeling a little more strong. One more time. Knees come down to the earth. Swing the legs around and come onto your bottom. So this is where we're going to gather that prop here. So that could be that rolled up blanket, beach towel, or taking a hold of your block. Make your way down to come onto your backside. Once down, we're going to nourish yourself after all that strong work. Bring the knees in towards the chest. Give them a nice squeeze and hug here. Holding on to the knees, just a couple little circles. Direction. Placing the soles of the feet down on the earth, we're going to lift up the hips and we're going to take that prop that you have, bring it underneath the sacrum. So that's the heart shaped space at the back. So we don't want it down on our on the spine or down in the glutes. We want to have that kind of shelf space supported here. Make sure there's no pinching. And then just bring the shoulders in and under so that we have that opening through the heart. And then just spend several moments here. Slowing the breath down. Appreciating the break after all that strength. Softening for just a few more moments. And pressing through the heels and the palms, lift up the hips. Remove whatever fault that you have and let the body, let the back body resettle into the earth. I'm going to allow the knees to fall over to the right side. Come on over into your fetal position for just a moment. And then gently cross yourself back up or first time up into your seated posture. Close the eyes, let all the energies reorganize and resettle. Take an inhale in and exhale out. I'm picking up your pen and paper. And today's prompt is maybe a challenge, just like that was a little bit of a challenge through our practice, through all of our movement today. Write down and hopefully follow through with what can you do now to make today or tomorrow amazing? What can you do right now to make today or tomorrow amazing? Thank you so much for joining me and sharing your practice and your energy. I hope that you had find more time to care for yourself today with your yoga, with your journaling, or whatever you need. Have a fantastic rest of your day, and namaste.